exercise number 13 and this exercise <clears throat> was all about palindromes. Palindromes are words that you can read from both sides. So Abba, you can read it from left to right or from right to left and Anna also. And there are many more such words that you can read from left to right, right to left. It's always the same. You should find two solutions, two different solutions, one using slicing and one without slicing. This one is without slicing. It's more complicated. We will start with this one and then I show you the more advanced one using slicing. Okay, let's start. So we get the user input. That's always the same. Then here, we have a variable, a Boolean variable, which stores true or false. We initialize it with false. And we have a helper variable. We call it I for the index. And here in the while loop, we compare the character at index I must be equal to the character at the end. Yeah, right. We start with the A and we compare it with this A, the first character with the last one. And here is the important thing about this solution, what you should learn. We can use a minus in the index also. And that means we start from the end of the string and go to the beginning of the string. The last character in a string has index minus one and this has index minus two the d has index minus three and so on so to compare the first character with the last one we use index i and we use minus i plus one plus one why? Because here we start at minus one and here we start at zero. So first we have zero and minus one. Then we have one and minus two and so on. That's how we can compare the first with, with the last character, the second one with the second last and so on until we get exactly to the middle of the word then we know we have a palindrome before we can we can't say it that's why i divide it by two and i add plus one because if it's an odd number we want to be sure to, to check all the characters so if the while loop gets until the middle of the word we know that we have a palindrome, so we, we store in this variable true and we leave the loop. But if as long as both characters are equal, if they are different, we already know it's not a palindrome. And once we get to the middle of the word, we know we have a palindrome, so we can remember it here. And then we say it's a palindrome or it's not a palindrome. Okay, not so difficult, but still we can do this much faster in Python. And we do it like this. If x equals x, and now we have to reverse the string and we do it like that. From start to end, reverse step. That's the clue here. We take minus one as step and that reverses the whole string. So here we compare string equals reverse string. If that's true, we print palindrome. And if it's false, then we don't have a palindrome. So not a palindrome and that's it so easy and here you can see 
the power of slicing in Python. It's another very important skill you should know when you write code in Python. Let's try our code. Let's say Anna, it's a palindrome, correct. And if we run it again and we say Apple, not a palindrome, it works great. So here we have the second solution for this problem.